Elon Musk has finally taken over Twitter and is planning to introduce some free speech to the platform. But not everybody is happy about this news, especially the Muslim Council of Britain. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the UK's most watched political show on the internet. We will be your voice, we will be your advocate and we will stand up to the establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite. Now let's get on with the show because we have a number of news updates for you guys tonight. First things first, Elon Musk since uh, Friday, last Friday, officially signed and officially taken uh, took over Twitter as a platform. There was a bit of a backlash. He decided to cancel and fire the whole board and he's now the only director. And this is the best way to actually run a private company like Twitter. You don't need to turn into a, a public company that the way it was. And he plans to make it more private anyway, turn into a more independent platform. Now, the issue here is that it's showing a bit of hypocrisy from a number of different types of group of people. So first things first, this guy. Mikdad Versi with a blue tick is verified and soon he's going to be have to be paying Twitter to have that blue tick. So that's a whole different topic which we're going to cover later tonight. But he's the media spokesperson for the Muslim Council of Britain. Now this guy is not too happy about a pro-free speech Twitter. He did say that key figures on Britain's far right who were previously banned from Twitter have been able to open new accounts, apparently without restrictions. Um, without restriction. What sort of restrictions do you actually want? Because legally speaking, not just in terms of the website's guidelines, but actually legality, if anybody incites anything physical or by force or violence, anything, that's illegal anyway, and somebody's going to come after them. If you want restrictions based on speech, offensive words, hurtful words then you're part of the problem because you guys are saying nothing about what's going on in iran you guys are not saying anything about the fact that this guy the supreme leader of iran is still active on twitter if you guys really cared about hate speech or you know problematic people maybe maybe you would have raised an issue when it comes to ayatollah khamenei but no you don't seem to care because the Muslim Council of Britain, they are one-sided, they are biased, and they have their own agenda. And these are the most, one of the most group, the biggest groups of uh, snowflakes in society. You make one joke, you'll be cancelled. And by cancelled, I mean potentially dead. You've seen what happened after uh, the cartoons in Denmark and other places in France. These problems are still going on in, in our society, and we're not really brave enough to tackle them. We need to fight for free speech. We need to fight for freedom and democracy and we can't just completely cancel each other just because somebody gets offended. Now, people actually said on Twitter in response, free speech, is it not? Don't see you complaining that the Taliban have an account and uh, someone said they support the Taliban, bro. <laughs> um, and then someone said, that, well, their, their response was, tell me something I don't know. They are saying nothing about what's going on in Iran, despite the fact that, again, I know Iran is, um, as a country, is less than 40% Muslim. It's not a, a majority Muslim country. But the Muslim councils, all these groups, if they really cared about the well-being of ordinary moderate Muslims, then you, you should really say something about the Iranian regime going after every single person on the streets. You don't seem to care about that. About that. You care about what's going on in Silicon Valley and with Elon Musk's Twitter. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We're going to come back in half an hour and we're going to tell you about Germany and Iran because that relationship is not looking too good for the Iranian regime. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.